Why red meat is not good for hepatitis patients. Fat and liver damage. Fatty foods. Fried foods are very hard for the liver to digest. They frequently cause pain in the upper abdomen area and liver. Greasy and oily foods highly toxins to the liver. Unsaturated fats, deep fried foods, oily foods, clarified butters are like grease for liver. These high fats are already killer, especially for hepatitis patients. Makes it harder for the liver to process this highly processed toxin. How do I know I have severe fatty liver disease? Abdominal pain or a feeling of fullness in the upper left or right side of the abdomen area. Nausea, loss of appetite or weight loss. Yellowish skin and whites of the eyes. Swollen abdomen and legs. Extreme tiredness or mental confusion. Weakness. Are you taking excess proteins? Adequate protein intake is important to build and maintain muscle mass and to assist in healing as well as repair. Protein intake should be between about 45 to 120 grams a day in patients with hepatitis. What happened if more proteins taken? In research found, high protein intake may worsen encephalopathy for 35% of cirrhotic patients or grade 3 or more fatty liver patients. The purpose of the low protein diet is to reduce intestinal ammonia production and thereby prevent exacerbation of hepatic encephalopathy. Red meat consumption of regular basis is good? Regular consumption of red meat invites number of health problems, such as heart disease, some cancers, kidney problems, digestive issues, and mortality rate is high. What found in red meat? In 100 grams of uncooked red meat found. 247 calories. 19.07 grams of fat. 17.44 grams of protein. 1.97 milligrams, mg, of iron. 274 milligrams of potassium. 4.23 milligrams of zinc. 2.15 micrograms of vitamin B-12. Iron and liver damage. The liver plays an important role in the metabolism of iron since it is the primary organ in the body that stores this metal. The average diet contains about 10 to 20 milligrams of iron. Only about 10 of this iron is eliminated from the body. Now the question is, why red meat is not good for fatty liver diseases? Patients with hepatitis B or C suffering with cirrhosis sometimes or severe fatty diseases have difficulty excreting iron from the body. So that, it can overload of iron in the liver, blood, and other organs. Can excess iron damage the liver? Yes, excess iron can damage the liver. Patients with hepatitis B and C whose serum iron level is elevated, or who have cirrhosis, should avoid taking more iron-contained foods or supplements in their diet. A hepatitis B or C patient must take low iron-based foods. A hepatitis B or C patient diet plan must also be low in iron, low protein and low fat. Chronic hepatitis C patients can have difficulty in processing iron, which can overload the liver and the blood with excess iron. Excess level of irons in the liver could be the cause of liver cirrhosis. Though red meat contains high-level proteins so that is not easy to break down proteins by liver and create various liver-related issues later on. Consuming everything in a limit based is still fine, but the moment you cross this limit, you are risking the health of your liver. Eat less iron-rich based fruits. Grade 3 fatty liver or cirrhosis patients should avoid dry fruits. Because fry foods are heavy which is hard to process by liver and some foods also contained high level of iron like following. Pine nuts 10 grams equals 0.6 milligrams iron. Hazelnuts 14 grams equals 0.7 milligrams iron. Pistachios 28 grams equals 1.1 milligrams iron. Dates 100 grams equals up to 10.4 milligrams iron.
Watermelon 100 grams equals 0.2 mg iron. Apricots 100 grams equals 04 mg iron. Raisins 100 grams equals 1.9 mg iron. Bananas are not bad for the liver, but try to limit them to 1 to 2 per day and not beyond that as the fructose in them can lead to fatty liver. Eat less iron rich vegetables. If you have fatty liver grade 3 or suffering from liver cirrhosis, then you should eat moderately following items. Spinach, pumpkin, lentils, tofu, soybeans. This is because the sugar present in fruits, known as fructose, can cause abnormal amounts of fat in the blood when consumed in large amounts. The fibrosis stage is the strongest predictor of liver-related outcomes and mortality in patients with NAFLD, and a patient's knowledge of the fibrosis stage improves adherence to lifestyle changes. Dietary patterns are associated with NAFLD, and specific foods or dietary components have been identified as promoting or counteracting NAFLD's progression to fibrosis. In a recent study found, the association of meat consumption with various adverse health outcomes has been increasingly studied. In cross-sectional and case control studies, high red meat consumption has been associated with NAFLD, fibrosis, or related cirrhosis. This is last but not least. Remember excess of protein, iron and high saturated fats are unable to process by the liver. After all this can lead to serious fatty liver diseases which can have adverse effects on the brain and kidney and cirrhosis. This is a special warning to hepatitis patients. If you are suffering in fatty liver diseases, please share your experience in the comment box. If you like this video, please like and share our videos and subscribe our channel. Stay happy, stay healthy. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom of Health Channel.